good look there at the home of the Jays, Rogers Center in Toronto. The Midsummer Classic between the National League All-Stars and the American League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here on the show. I'll be joined in a moment by Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, but first, let's give you a look at this year's American and National League All-Star Starters. As this year, fans cast close to 400 million votes online. A staggering number. Final preparations being made down on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League All-Star Game on the show, and it comes your way next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2018 American League All-Star. Before we progress any further, let's have a quick look at our two starting lineups for tonight. And they'll go to work against no small task indeed. The 2010 American League Cy Young Award winner, King Felix, right-hander Felix Hernandez. And in the field behind him, the American League stars look like this. Johnny Venner will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. The shortstop, Johnny Benner. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. And he'll step off and try and reset. The 1 0 pitch. And the 1 0 is sent out to straightaway center field. Pollard is there, and he has it for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And striding in is the left fielder, Melky Cabrera. Now a first pitch changeup here. Too far inside, it's 1-0. and oh. And wow, a very high strike, but a strike nonetheless, and it's 1-1. One and one. A little bit of hang time there to that curveball. I don't think that's exactly where he's going to want to throw that pitch going forward. It worked out right there, but he better find a little extra snap on that pitch in the future. Knuckleball, and he can't pull the trigger. It's a called strike three for route number two. Here's a close-up of how he grips that knuckleball. You can see it's not really his knuckles that grip the ball, but rather his fingernails that really dig into the seam. That's such a tough pitch to throw, and even more difficult to master. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. And so would the guy on the mound. 
See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It's a solo home run here for Mike Trout. As the AL strikes first, it's one to nothing. strike right down the middle it's 0 and 1. You know, it's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Good breaking ball but he missed inside with it a ball and a strike. Now here it comes. On a hole now as he swings and misses at a pitch in the dirt and it's one and two now. You get that feeling that'll be a pitch we see a lot of as this game goes along. And when he's throwing that thing good a lot of times that's where it winds up. So these guys are going to have to prove they can lay off that thing in the dirt. Or I'm sorry to interrupt, but that's the third strike and the third out. Side is retired. So only one hit in the inning on the solo shot, but it's enough to push him out in front. On now to the top half of inning number two. The American Leaguers on top, one to nothing. Herbert Martinez will lead things off here as they'll have five, six, and seven due up to start the home second. Now a swing and a ground ball. Pitch on the way. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. The pitch. To two and two now. Now here's the pitch. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Victor Mendoza waits on deck. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Under this one is Harrison, and he's got it for the first out. Victor Mendoza will step in now. From the Toronto Blue Jays. Right. Drops in a strike to start Victor the at bat. Nothing in one. He may not throw a ton of change ups here tonight, but he's got a good one when he needs it. And I think he will need it because this is a good fastball hitting team. Most teams are. So the more you can keep these guys guessing off balance, the better. Takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. And this is fouled straight back. Again, a 1 2. Knuckleball, and he can't pull the trigger. It's a called strike three for route number two. Now, sometimes you just shake your head and move on. And he's thinking, how did that pitch wind up a strike? You just got to be thankful you don't see knuckleballers every day. Jonathan Lucroy. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Just no chance to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Hey, come on, baby. See it. Hey, like you can out there, kid, huh? Now the pitch. Hey, pitch up there. This is lifted into the air out towards center field. And Pollock will make the catch, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. We play two full, all tied at one and one. Sonny Gray will come in and pitch now.
And in an all-star game atmosphere like this, it can sometimes be hard to single out one player for an MVP award, but the writers here have spoken as you get a look at our all-star game most valuable player presented by Topps. And I don't know if this was a unanimous selection or not. There's probably some writer out there who disagrees, but he's a worthy all-star game MVP in my book. And I think all three of us put his name down at the top of our ballot. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The National League comes out on top, 7-2. to two. Good night from Toronto.